This just in, Sean Roden has passed away. That is the 2018 Mr. Olympia. Sean Roden has died. Uh, just got word and confirmation from Chris Aceto, his coach, that he has passed. Uh, the cause of death is unknown at this point. Um, there is speculation that it was heart related, but there's no definitive uh, cause yet. I'm sure an autopsy will be performed. Obviously, Sean Roden, one of the most gifted bodybuilders of our modern time, won the 2018 Mr. Olympia and probably would have won several more. At the end of the day, isn't that what we all want? We want validation as to what, all the hard work that we do in life or whatever we apply ourselves to, that, that our peers will validate us and say, you know what, you did good. Because at the end of the day, the money to me is meaningless. It's, it's what the people that we love and our friends and the fans, what they believe or what they see out there is something that made them feel special inside. So if we can look at Sean Roden and say, hey, he made us feel good. That's what bodybuilding's about. That's what I'd like to look like. That's something that gave me joy as, as a bodybuilding fan or as a supporter of the sport or as a bodybuilder myself. And you know what? Sean did his job. And I can only say that Sean validated us all. Because when I watched him up there beating some of the champions that he beat and displaying the physique that he had with all the genetic you know, gifts and all the hard work that he put in there and all the obstacles that he overcame, uh, at the end of the day, I felt good. I feel good watching Sean up there and he made me feel good. The biggest sacrifice that I made was with me for my family and I put them through a lot trying to get ready for what most people consider to be a very selfish sport, which is bodybuilding because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's all about you. It has nothing to do with your family. Your team push you to get there, but at the end of the day, it's just it's a selfish sport. And my reaction was before I could celebrate, my family needs to celebrate with me. Said, hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Guess what? Daddy's Mr. Olympia. I wanted to be there in the moment, to be on stage with me for this joyous occasion. I think in 2015, when I took third, my daughter was only a couple weeks old. And I told people, I told everyone back then she was my Olympia, and she still is my Olympia. And this is a great medal, but at the end of the day, she's my Olympia. So it was great to have them on stage with me in that moment for something that, you know, selfishly I've been fighting for um, for a very long time. You know, 20 something years ago, I told someone I was going to be Mr. Olympia, and it took me that long to get it. How would Sean Roden want to be remembered? And I think if he was sitting here with me or sitting on my shoulder right now and talking to me, whispering in my ear, he would say, I want to be remembered as someone who gave their heart and soul to the sport of bodybuilding to be the best that I could be on stage. 
and give the fans the greatest show that I possibly could. To show them that, you know what, this was in my soul, and I'm an artist, and here is my art. Look at me. Um, this is what I've worked my whole life for. I'm happy to say, hey, you know what? It was a great sacrifice, but it was worth it. <laughs> because I have a Sandow. I am the 14th person to ever hold a title as Mr. Olympia in this prestigious sport. And I'm very thankful for all the opportunity that opportunities that has given me and my family and I thank you guys. craft, his art. That's what Sean would want to be remembered as, someone who moved fans and people emotionally with the physique that he built and displayed on stage. <laughs>